I'm Sarah from The Oncoming. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Me too. Could you kick off with a brief intro to this film? What can audiences expect from Emily, but also in particular your character? Oof, that's a real hard one. Uh, what can audiences expect? Uh, like a, 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 a sort of fascinating take on the life and imagination of Emily Bronte and what led her to write one of the greatest books of all time. And then I play uh, William Waitman, who uh, was a local clergyman who came to Haworth and uh, uh, and chaos ensues. <laughs> and how did you prepare to play this character? Did you already know the novels? Did you go back and revisit them? Or did you go to the script? Where did you begin? I didn't. I, I, I didn't. Uh, I went to a French school, so we never, like, you know, Emily Bronte was like this British writer. So I read the book, but but... Mainly for, for this, I, I, because I was playing a priest, I, I spoke to so many priests and um, pastors and I just sort of became quite obsessed with like what it would, I guess what it was like to have that thing and that safety in your life, which I don't because I think it's all nonsense. But yeah, so it, I, I, it was more, I'm more sort of focused on that. I mean, Emma was the one that was tasked with reading and reading and reading and reading and biographies and also all of the stuff that's out there. So much of it is from Charlotte's point of view. So it's quite hard to tell what's, what is true and what's not true, you know? And what was the shoot like? I mean, kind of getting back into this era in terms of the costumes, being on the moors, and of course working with Frances, her first time directing, a long career of being an actress, and, and then a wonderful fellow cast particularly Emma right at the centre of it. Yeah, I mean, we were, we were so lucky. Frances, I worked with Frances 10 years ago, and she said to me, I'm thinking about writing a story about Emily Bronte, and then 10 years later, I got a phone call saying, here's the script, will you read it? And um, it was amazing. I mean, Frances is, this is sort of such a passion project for her, and so I think for any of us to sort of be able to facilitate that in any way that we could was... was, was uh, it was a real kind of pleasure. And, and we all lived together in a house, you know, uh, Emma and Finn and Ali and Amelia and I. So we, and it was during COVID, the second lockdown. So we, we became very, very tight very quickly, yeah. Was there a particular moment that was challenging or a real highlight? Oof. Uh, oh, we sh it was quite a quick shoot. We did it in six weeks. So that, that I guess the whole, that on the whole was quite challenging. Uh, but the, the, there's, what highlights? I mean, there were so many highlights, you know, like quite a lot off screen and yeah. I mean, just, just all just being in that parsonage together was, I don't know, it felt, it felt quite otherworldly and being up on the moors, which are so haunting and, and um, yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience. And what do you hope people take away from watching the film? Because I guess she really was ahead of her time. She was kind of this mystery, but she's also this rebel, but also just trying to think of these women that their imaginations could literally produce the work that they produce. It still has influence today. I know. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's incredible. And also, we were talking about it today, but the bravery that, that she must have had to, to, to not want to conform I think there's something that's so you know to what society is telling her she should be or how she should be or I think there's something that we still see today all these years later and but the bravery that must have taken uh, is, is 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 so inspiring so so yeah so I think it's a Emma said today she was like it's a hopeful movie um, and it's it embraces it sort of celebrates creativity and and and, and people following what they feel and, and it is, it's right. So hopefully that's what people take away from it. And is it exciting to see more female-led stories, you know, female directed and, you know, and what's the experience like that you think from, from being, you know, directed by a woman, you know, do you think that we're in a kind of new era now where we're seeing more and more of this? Well, I, I hope, I hope it continues. I, and I, and I, I, know, I do believe it will. I think that, you know, the, I was really lucky last year. I worked uh, with, with three first time female directors back to back and, and uh, you know not to I've worked with, I've been lucky that I've worked with some amazing male directors but but I think Francis is is, is amazing I, I've worked with Maggie Gyllenhaal who was incredible so I feel like more more women doing it is always going to be a better thing for the world definitely well thank you so much for sharing all that with us really enjoy the evening lovely to meet you thank you